All right, it's time for business now. The Kenya and Tanzania bilateral trade stakeholders have promised to invest more in trade between the two countries to ensure regional and trade growth. The stakeholders cited trade barriers in sectors ranging from agriculture, tourism, oil, banking, financial services and manufacturing where they have been facing challenges trading in both countries. A business reporter Brian Mwenda has, was there and filed the following story. movement majorly due to COVID-free certification, double taxation, failure to observe rules of origin, most of cooking oil products, and unfavorable excise duties imposed on products. Now statistics indicate that there are 600 Kenyan companies based in Tanzania, but only 30 Tanzanian businesses based in Kenya. The value of exports from Tanzania to Kenya fell from 80% to 40% in the last five years. However, today, both the private and public sector stakeholders from both countries spoke in unison regarding measures that will strengthen trade between the two countries. Our business communities can exploit several opportunities with government support. This includes tourism and marketing both countries as one destination, our common tea and coffee, music, doing collabs for all of us who know what that is, mean, tuning up in music, value chains of our products, e.g. coconut farming, horticulture, and building large industries. Agreed on two major things to implement your instructions. One, we hold, with your permissions, we hold bilateral discussions before the end of this month. <laughs> For purposes of ironing out issues that are constraining trade between our two countries. And during our discussions, we also took note of uh, one urgent matter, which has happened over the past, uh, over the recent past, and this is about the maize trade between Tanzania and Kenya. Kama mwenzangu amesema tunakupa ahadi kwamba tutati maagizo haya straight to the letter. The key point of focus for this meeting was to provide solutions and trade freedom. And now, stakeholders will look into a new start with both countries promising to work in unison. Now, the Kenya-Tanzania bilateral trade stakeholders can go home happier after the process of mending the broken bridges has begun today. Brian Munda, Switch TV.